Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you instructive and very beautiful chess game. This is the game between Rafael Vaganyan and Viktor Kuprecik that was played in Leningrad in 1974. And where is Leningrad? Leningrad was a city in Soviet Union. In 1991, the name of the city was changed to St. Petersburg. In this game, Vaganyan had white pieces and he started with d4. Kuprecik played knight to f6, and after bishop to g5, we have Trompovsky attack. The most common move for black in this position is knight to e4 attacking bishop. Kuprecik played c5. Now, the most common move in this position is bishop takes knight, and black would capture towards the center. Vaganian played d5, gaining space on the board. Queen to b6, attacking pawn on b2. How should white continue? Maybe b3, queen to c1. How would you continue? Vaganian played knight to c3. He allowed black to capture that pawn on b2. Now queen is also attacking knight on c3. That pawn on b2 is known as the poison pawn. White played bishop to d2. Plan is to play rook to b1 sooner or later. That's why black played queen to b6, e4, d6, f4. White is planning to play e5. Perhaps black should have played e5. Or maybe queen to c7. Maybe he didn't like queen to c7 because then white can play knight to b5 attacking queen and then queen has to go back to d8. In the game, Kuprecik played g6. e5. Pawn takes pawn. Pawn takes pawn. Knight is under attack. Knight from f to d7. Knight to f3. Bishop to g7. Bishop and knight are attacking pawn. On e5, first thing first, rook to b1 attacking queen, queen to d8. And now it is white to move. Bishop to f4 looks like a sensible move. But instead, Vaganian decided to play sharp chess. e6, pawn takes pawn. And now, not taking with pawn, but knight to g5. That is, knight takes on e6, forking queen and bishop. Knight to f6, bishop on c8 is defending pawn on e6. Bishop to b5, check. And black has a problem. He would like to block that check with bishop. But if bishop to d7, then knight takes on e6, forking queen and bishop. Bishop can't take knight, it's pinned. That's why in this position, black played king to f8, pawn takes pawn, and black played a6, attacking bishop. Now you would think that white would play something like bishop to e2, but Vaganian played bishop to e3. Very interesting. If queen takes queen, then rook takes queen, and black would be advised not to capture that bishop on b5 because of this continuation check. And after knight to e8, castling, this is check, bishop to f6, rook takes bishop, and white has a winning position. In the game, black played queen to a5, attacking knight on c3. Bishop on b5 is also under attack. If queen to d3, then pawn takes bishop. So this is now critical position of the game. It is white to move. And he must choose carefully. What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? Please note, this is not a killer move. This is a good move. Are you ready? Boganian played castling, and that is the best move. Because now black can't capture knight. This is checkmate. 
Well, what about pawn takes bishop? If pawn takes bishop, then rook takes on b5, attacking queen. Queen, black queen must guard d8 square. So queen to c7, and then knight to d5, attacking queen. Queen to e5, bishop takes on c5, and white has a winning position. So after, cast, after castling, h6 was played, attacking knight. So knight on g5 is under attack from pawn on h6. Knight on c3 is under attack from queen. And bishop on b5 is under attack from pawn on a6. Hmm. How should white continue? Well, Vaganian played queen to d3. Again, choosing the best move. Not only guarding that knight on c3, but attacking pawn on g6. Black has very difficult position. He played the king to g8. Vaganian captured pawn on g6, threatening checkmate on f7. Bishop takes pawn. Knight takes bishop. Threat is queen takes bishop, checkmate. Rook to h7, defending. Exchange sacrifice. And black can't take back. Because if pawn takes rook, then queen to e8, check. And after bishop to f8, queen takes bishop, checkmate. So in this position, knight to d7 was played. But then, Vaganian captured knight with bishop and black resigned. Well, some people may say it's too early. But um, what can black play? Well, he can capture that knight on c3. And I'm going to show you a variation, not necessarily the only or the best one, but the cute one, one that I like. Okay, so this could be a continuation then. Check. Rook takes rook. Knight takes on f8. Queen takes bishop. Maybe white could have played better than this. He could, but I like this one. This is check. King to h1. And now rook would like to come to f1. That's why queen to f4. Check. King takes knight. Rook to d1. That is checkmate. If queen to c7 to defend d8 square, then queen to f7. Check. Mate. Okay, and what we can say about this position when black captured the poison pawn? Did black lose because he captured the poison pawn? I don't think so. But we can say that black was behind in development after that. And we have to give credit to Waganyan, who played brilliant chess in this game. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.